We're going to do a review today of probability. There's no new material. We've covered all of the different concepts, but we're going to put them all together and see if we can differentiate when do we use which type of probability. And so if you want to grab your formula sheet, I'm going to just start by taking a look at the formulas on the right hand column here. So going back to set theory, the first two formulas here both have our union symbol. We know that the union symbol means or. So if you want to write on your formula sheet, we can just fill in or. If we're dealing with two or more events, the word or indicates they're going to be mutually exclusive or non-mutually exclusive. If you think about your Venn diagrams, because this is the one that we can draw out, if we're just adding up the probability of A and the probability of B, it means that we have disjoint events. So anytime we have two events that do not contain common elements, we can just figure out what's the probability of A, add it to the probability of B, and then get the probability of those two events. In the second formula here, which is still or, this is the one where we are subtracting that middle section. We don't want to count it two times, so that indicates that we have intersecting circles. So this formula we can use in the event that there are elements in common or the probability of something occurring at the same time can happen. The first one here, disjoint circles indicates that we have mutually exclusive events. Intersecting circles indicates that we have non-mutually exclusive events. The next two contain the intersection circle, which we know is AND. So we can fill in AND here. And we can't really diagram these out. They're either going to be independent or dependent events. So the first one here is actually the easiest of all the probabilities because we literally just multiply them together. If we have the probability of A times the probability of B, that means whatever we do here has no impact on what we do here. So these are independent events. One has no impact on the other. The second one, and again, remember the notation, this is what is the probability of A and the probability of B given that A has already occurred. And so maybe let's just write this in here. So this is the one that's different from set theory. So probability of B given that A has already occurred. And again, this one here indicates that we have dependent events. So one does impact the other. I adjusted my screen so you can see it uh, more clearly. So what we're going to do today is we're going to do a review sheet. And it's a little bit tricky because this is one that we normally do together and work through together. So we're going to try something. I'm going to upload it and you can either just, you don't have to print it out. You can just do it on a piece of paper, just label kind of left side one, right side one. We normally do it as a group activity, which is why it's set up like that. And I think most of you are now on Google Hangout. And so if you need help with a question, um, I'm going to get you to try to post it to that forum. And then if you think you have an answer to it, you can actually diagram it out and then take a picture and upload it. So we're going to kind of work through it that way and see how that works. This is kind of a work in progress. We're going to adjust things as we go. One thing to keep in mind is it is a learning tool and everything you put, even if it's deleted, is recorded. There is a permanent history that's kept with the school district. So just be mindful of that when you're posting. Make sure that your comments are professional and appropriate. And we're going to try that today just to see if we can do a virtual group type activity. And then any questions, I'm going to come on later in the day and we'll kind of address those and work through them together and see how that goes. So take care and I will talk to you soon.